Hello again, this is Holly and I'm here back to do another video. This is going to be based on Paul Bagone's books and then also I'm going to apply my foundation with a lighter application, a double wear uh, from Estee Lauder. And it's a product that Paula loves. Paula is very, very oily and uh, she has very strong opinions about, about products and about how things are made. And many years ago when um, I was, I think I was probably, maybe I was like in high school possibly, um, her first book came out and I was just fascinated by it. I took lots of notes on it. Um, and then when I went to buy the newer books, I would go to the library, or not to the library, to the um, to Barnes & Noble or to UC Boards and Boards are still around. And I would go through and I would read as much as I could, have my coffee at the, at the store there, and try to write down everything I needed because I couldn't afford to buy the book. And so eventually I bought several of the books, and now I have a little stash of them. I only have three that I can find right now. Actually, I have four. So I'll kind of show you what I'm, what I'm looking at and I'll tell you more about how Paula does things. Um, first thing she did, she has a book called The Original Beauty Bible, and this was uh, just a, a really good book about explaining how you could take care of your skin in an affordable way and have it be safe and be um, you know, beneficial for your skin. And then, um, this is outdated now, of course, um, and she kind of, um, when people talk about uh, this, this book, like Wayne Goss sh showed it on a, a video that he did with, with Paula Bagone and Brian Barron. Um, anyway, so... It's kind of funny that, that she doesn't want to hear about that anymore. She knows there's some things that she did back then that aren't that weren't the best science, and now the science is really has, has grown and is um, very very amazing. And so we've um, learned a lot from that. Um, the one thing I've always disagreed with her about: she didn't like shimmer shadows, which I love shimmer shadows. Even if you're older, I still love them. And she doesn't love alcohol in any form on the skin, unless it's acetyl alcohol. I like think which are, are kind of creamier, like a fatty alcohol. But it's actually a, a liquid alcohol that evaporates quickly. Um, it's going to cause um, cellular damage to the skin and break down your collagen or your, 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 your last or your, well, your your barrier on your skin and create more more problems. So that's something we do not want to do. And so I've been kind of I, I still have to clarify with my my toners and my alcohol based things because I feel like they work well. They carry ingredients into the skin. Any kind of OL like uh, propylene glycol, um, different kinds of, of alcohols. They'll, they may have a slip to them, but they still may have an effect on the skin as far as how it, how it penetrates into the skin. So um, anyway, so what I have, um, when I do have it that Paula recommended highly, and this is what I've had for a long time, is a mild clarifying lotion. It's alcohol-free and it has salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is a, um, a beta-hydroxy acid. It's a exfoliant. I'm going to pour a little bit in my hand here. I put a little bit earlier, but I'll just do a little bit extra here so you can see. It's really thin, and instead of putting it on a cotton pad and then having a lot of it get wasted, I'm just gonna put it on my skin now. I'm back to this one again. So I put my other clarified lotions under my sink. I'm gonna take a break on those for a while. And again, I'm right now going to try to avoid any kind of alcohol on my face and just see if that works well for me. So that's one of the things that, that uh, I learned from her and uh, lots more beyond that. So I'll just show you a quick little, um, this is like my collection of books. So I have edition number six. <laughs> And number seven. And if you notice, there's um, bookmarks in these things. So this bookmark here, I wrote some products down that I liked, and I kept this a long time ago. But this is a unique chapter. And then the, the last book I have is edition number nine, big fat book. And this one, when I looked, looked at the page to see what it was, it says uh, Barnes Noble, and it says um, I see a lot. <laughs> so obviously, these are brands that I, I, I definitely I'm very proud of to work for, and I like to make sure that they're the right ones. I get to have my products in the right formulations for me. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do a quick uh, application of foundation and do it with a little bit less product. And I actually was watching this, Stephanie Marie is another YouTuber who does a great job of, of making things beautiful and simple and effective and with not so much goop. So I'm going to actually go ahead and do a little bit of the foundation in my hand. So it's really a small amount, like this is all I'm going to use in the entire face. People tend to go crazy, crazy, crazy with double wear foundation from Estee Lauder. And again, that's one of Paula's favorite foundations. And I'm going to add a little bit of oil to it because I'm super, super dry. So I'm going to add my nutritious oil. She doesn't like fragrance at all or scents. This one does have a scent. I don't know if it's from fragrance. There's two drops of oil in here. Um, so this is not quite me. Paula wouldn't like this per se, but she likes serum. She doesn't mind oils, actually. So I'm going to blend that into my into the, the product there. So you have that little product there. And the trick with her, with, with, with um, Stephanie Marie's technique, is take a little dab, and my sponge, you can tell there's still product that won't come out of there. Take a little dab and work in sections. And you really can 
cover the entire face with that tiny bit of foundation. I just have always seen people pile on a lot of it. And then okay, hours later in the day, they tend to look a little bit drier, a little bit um, cakey, I guess. And a lot of these people will also do a lot of powder on top of it. And I'm not going to do any powder because drier skin type, of course. And the oil helps to make the foundation look a lot fresher and smoother. So pretty smooth and even. And I could do a little bit more product to make the freckles kind of go away, but I don't mind my freckles. They're natural and they're just part of my my look, I feel expected to look like myself. I'm going to grab my concealer. I forgot to grab that. My, um, I use this actually as a primer. This is Epicerns from Lancome. And this is the one product that I find that helps hold on to my, my shadow. It's too dry for under my eyes, so it's no longer going under my eyes, but it does very well for covering up my little sunspot from tanning beds in high school. Do not go in tanning beds. People stay out of tanning beds. It's the worst thing ever. And I also have a primer to try to help. Um, it's actually a blurring primer, so not so much for the pores as much as for minimizing the um, texture in certain places. We all drink out of like straws and the water bottles, and you make a pucker look when you, when, you open, when you open your mouth to drink into something, and that's where we get a lot of those little feathery lines around our lip and places like that. So there is the concealer from, from Lancome that again will hold on my shadow really well and then I also have my NYX contour palette here it's a, a concealer and contour and I also have erase paste which is um, a peachier color so I was just comparing actually to look and the, um, the pale pink here in NYX versus the erase paste the erase paste is a little bit peachier and this one is a little bit pinkier so if you have um, on the, the op opposite color basically so you know pink green is kind of the opposite color like that so um, if you're kind of balancing out those colors so like it's actually red and green but the opposite we never have red things on our eyes but this pinker color will give that brightening effect um, I don't have too much darkness right now actually it's not too bad I'll do a little bit of the race paste and then I'll do a little bit of the concealer here just to, to show you what that looks like any race paste I actually um, I like to have it warm with my fingers because it's it's pretty thick, has a lot of pigment to it. So just kind of dab it in under the, the inner corner where the eye's a little darker. And then we'll go back with the other more skin tone color, which is the lighter one at the top here. Actually, it's on the side here. It's hard to keep it all perfect that way. Get it right to the lash line. I have a little bit of, of um, little capillaries, little, little veins around the eye area. And then I'll just kind of pat it in there. And then go back and use the Real Techniques sponge to blend that all out. So basically all these products here, except for the, the oil with the scent in it, probably Paul will be very proud of me for using all those things. And I'm going to keep on doing this for, for a while and see how long I, I can go without using my clarifying products that have alcohol in them. And we'll just see if I, oh, one more thing. I didn't didn't do this part and I'm going, I'm going to. So this is Pore Fashionals. This is a sample I got of the, um, it's a primer, but it's also, it has a blurry effect too. So this is where I get like the little 
feathery things. You won't see it until I get foundation caked up there, then you'll know it's there. So here's the little cute tube here. And we'll just go along the top of the lip there. I hope it's on my nose because that's the area that does get a little bit shiny. And then there's a little bit of pores. Sometimes it pop up. You can see the pores. They're, they're always there, of course, but I don't always see them. So we'll just do this too. And then again, just kind of put it all together. So that's that for this video. So I, I'll go to um, be back in a little bit to do another video on the actual um, makeup. I'm going to do a um, new collection that I just purchased. So talk to you guys later. See you soon. Bye-bye.